Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at another way we can prepare chlorine in the lab. There are very many methods, but today we are going to use potassium permanganate. Now, sometimes instead of calling it permanganate, it's called manganate 7. It's the same thing. Manganate 7. So we can call it potassium permanganate or manganate 7. And in this case, we don't need to do any warming like with manganese 4 oxide and as such since we have no warming because our potassium permanganate is a stronger oxidizing agent than our manganese for oxide in this case we can use a flat bottomed flask as you can see we are not using a round bottomed flask still we can use a thistle funnel or a dropping funnel depending on our need or the availability of a given lab equipment so we shall have our hydrochloric acid placed in the funnel and we shall have our purple potassium manganate 7 or permanganate in our flat bottomed flask. So the setup is similar just that in this case as you will notice we don't have a wash bottle containing water like before. But either way we shall produce our chlorine gas as we are going to see. So we shall need our hydrochloric acid which is either dilute or concentrated depending on the availability or, or amount of chlorine we want to produce but we shall get our hydrochloric acid and drop it onto our potassium manganate 7 so we have hydrochloric acid and it's going to react with potassium manganate 7 which is a solid this purple solid here. So when that happens, we shall see a reaction taking place between the liquid acid and the potassium manganate 7. So we shall start seeing bubbles of our green shallow gas being formed, which is our chlorine. So what happens is that we shall form salts of the potassium metal and salts of our manganese, which is potassium chloride, will be formed as this compound is removing the hydrogen from hydrochloric acid we shall form the corresponding salts of these two metals so we have potassium chloride and because potassium chloride is soluble in water it will be aqueous remember our we have some water present at the same time we are going to have some water formed the same is true for our manganese chloride it will also be formed chemical formula we have a two here because of the valence of manganese in this compound so we are going to form our water as well in which this salts will dissolve which is a liquid plus our chlorine gas the one we are preparing so this is the equation for the preparation of chlorine using potassium manganate 7 so obviously if at all we, we want to dry our gas, we shall have to pass it through a wash bottle. Washing basically means trying to purify something. When you wash your clothes, you are trying to ensure that they become clean. So we call this a wash bottle. And it's containing concentrated sulfuric acid, a strong drying agent, because sulfuric acid has a high affinity for water. So any water present in the fumes that are passing through this sulfuric acid, the water will be removed. And as such, we shall mainly be having our chlorine continuing through the, the delivery tube into our gas jar. So here we shall have our dry gas. If at all you feel you want to take or you want to cater for the hydrogen chloride fumes used, especially if you have used concentrated hydrochloric acid, you can still put a wash bottle in between the concentrated sulfuric acid and this flat bottom flask you can put here a wash bottle containing water as we had seen in our previous video when we were using manganese for oxide so you can try to first bubble the products through water and then through concentrated sulfuric acid but because we're using dilute hydrochloric acid we are assuming that at least we shall have less fumes of hydrogen chloride gas so even if we don't pass it through water, we believe the chlorine, as long as we remove the water component in it, 
it will be basically dry so we have our equation here we need to balance it and for my case because i have practiced it more at least i know i'll have a 16 on on hydrochloric acid that is that makes hydrogen 16 so my hydrogen this side i have two so i need to put half which is eight and then i'll have oxygen eight this said i have oxygen four so i'll put a two on potassium manganate seven that will make potassium two so i'll come here and put potassium two on potassium chloride and this will make my manganese two so i'll go to magnesium chloride and put the two and then lastly i'll have chlorine which is 16 this side i have two plus four that is six so i'm left with 10 i need 10 here i already have a two so if i make these ones by five i'll have 10 plus that which is 16. so this is the equation for the lab preparation of chlorine using potassium permanganate together with hydrochloric acid like i said we can always put another wash bottle and if the gas is not required dry, we can directly try to collect the gas from our flat bottom flask into our gas jar. So by downward delivery, because chlorine is relatively heavy and it's denser than air. Denser than air. So like I said, we use we don't need to warm in this setup because the potassium permanganate 7 is a strong oxidizing agent compared to our counterpart manganese oxide. So the reaction will be quite possible even if we don't warm. That's all and this is the setup on how we can prepare chlorine using potassium permanganate or potassium manganate 7. Thanks for watching.